Welcome back. These are the latest developments in the ongoing crisis in North Korea. South Korea today fired at an unidentified object across the border from North Korea. Crossing the demilitarized zone, the South Korean military spotted it on radar and opened fire with K-3 machine guns. Still as yet unidentified, it is believed to be a North Korean drone, of which North Korea has over 1,000, capable of both reconnaissance or attack. And this is not the first time this has happened. The South have had to repel several drone incursions, most of which have either been destroyed or returned across the border. However, some have managed to penetrate defences. This latest incursion is seen as highly inflammatory and prompted a statement from South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff saying the military has beefed up our anti-air surveillance and maintained a readiness posture. Warning broadcasts were sent out three times to the North Koreans before opening fire. Coming just two days after the successful test firing of its short to medium range ballistic missile this has pushed tensions to a new level, leaving everyone wondering what the Hermit State will do next. With the threat of a sixth nuclear test at any moment, many experts believe that the US will soon have little choice but to act or risk North Korea developing a long-range ballistic missile capable of reaching mainland America. It seems that things are escalating to a point where war is inevitable. In fact, if we look back to the start of Desert Storm in Iraq in 1991, the US has been using the same tactics it did in the run-up to that conflict and building up forces in the area. The USS Carl Vinson Carrier Group and the USS Ronald Reagan are conducting drills and are both close enough to North Korea to launch a massive cruise missile strike. As well as this, over 100 F-16 jets are conducting daily exercises and F-35 jets have also been deployed to the area. Also South Korean Army personnel and US Marines are training together to practice lightning attacks against possible nuclear facilities. The island of Guam which holds a large military base and would be a first strike target for North Korea is going to be briefed by representatives from the US about Korea terrorism and civil defence in a week's time. South Korea's capital Seoul would of course be the first hit by a massive bombardment from North Korea should war break out unless the US can deliver precise strikes very quickly before there is any chance to retaliate. The trouble with that scenario is that often intelligence is flawed and with North Korea being so secretive it is impossible to know what weapons they might have and where they would be deployed. Whether a US attack is imminent it is unlikely to happen before President Trump returns to the White House at the weekend. Whatever happens we will try to keep you informed over the coming days as the situation develops further. The world is watching so be kind to each other. This is Gruftykins signing off.